Hey Maxwell, look at the time. Better get on with the class. All right, all right. Hurry up! Why are you so slow? We might be late. Don't rush me. I always miss my step easily. What if you cause me to fall? I think the way you walk is dangerous. We should make an appointment to get it checked together. Let's go to class first. Give me your hand. I will help you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Have you visited our optometry clinic before? No. Yes. Sir, please fill out this first time visit form. Please write your name, date of birth, phone number, address, occupation, and indicate any medication, allergies, or family medical history. And sir, please provide your name. William. Please wait for a moment while I retrieve your medical record form. Please verify if the information on the form is correct and if there have been any changes. I'm done filling it out. Is this glasses for reading or walking? For walking. Have you taken any medication recently? No. Have you ever been admitted to a hospital? Or had any surgeries before, including eye surgeries or general surgeries? No. Is the information correct? Is there any need to change? It's all correct. No change needed. So what brings you both here today? I have difficulty judging distance when walking downstairs. Sometimes even though I feel the stairs are there, I can't stand on them accurately. I witnessed Maxwell's condition last day, so I brought Maxwell for an examination and get myself checked as well. I have a general understanding of your situation. Please wait here while I hand over your medical record forms to the optometry. Please help me take Maxwell to the examination room. Please follow me. Hello, sir. I'm the optometrist who will conduct your examination. I briefly reviewed your medical record earlier. Could you please provide a detailed explanation of your condition? I have difficulty judging distance when walking downstairs. I can't accurately perceive the distance between the ground and my feet. Even though I think the stairs are there, I can't step on them accurately. Have you had this condition since childhood or did it occur suddenly? I've had it since childhood, but I didn't pay much attention to it. I just noticed that I tend to fall more easily than others. All right, I understand. We'll start with a stereo abscess test followed by further evaluations. Okay. Do you have prescription glasses for near vision? No. Are your current distance glasses fully corrected? Yes. Please sit on the chair. These are polaroid glasses used for stereoapsis test. Please simply place them over your current glasses without removing them. Please keep your focus on written down stereo butterfly booklet. 
Is there any reflective? Is the light directly shining into your eyes? Does it dazzle into you? No, there isn't reflective or discomfort. Can you see the two English letters L and R at the bottom? Yes, I can see them. Can you see any insect or animal in the picture? Yes, I see it. It's a butterfly. Please try to grab the upper right wing of the butterfly. Now, please try to grab the lower right wing of the butterfly. Next, please focus on the top left section. Each diamond shape contains four circles, and one of them appears different from the other three. Can you please read out the direction for each different circle? The first one is down. The second one is left, but I can't see the third one. Can you see the third one now? No, I still can't see it. Can you see the fourth one now? No, I still can't see it. All right, I understand. That will be enough. Please take off the polaroid glasses and have a seat in the waiting area outside. When William finishes the test, I will explain everything to both of you together. Please help me take William to the examination room. Please follow me. Hello, sir. I'm the optometrist who will conduct your examination. I briefly reviewed your medical record earlier. Could you please provide a detailed explanation of your condition? When Maxwell almost fell like that, I was right beside him. I observed their condition, so I wanted to get checked to see if I have a minor issue. All right, I understand. We'll start with a stereo abscess test followed by further evaluations. Okay. Do you have prescription glasses for near vision? No, I don't. Are your current distance glasses fully corrected? Yes. Please sit on the chair. These are polaroid glasses used for stereoapsis test. Please simply place them over your current glasses without removing them. Please keep your focus on written down stereo butterfly booklet. Is there any reflective? Is the light directly shining into your eyes? Does it dazzle into you? No, there isn't reflective or discomfort. Can you see the two English letters L and R at the bottom? Yes, I can see them. Can you see any insect or animal in the picture? Yes, I see it. It's a butterfly. Please try to grab the upper right wing of the butterfly. Now, please try to grab the lower right wing of the butterfly. Next, please focus on the top left section. Each diamond shape contains four circles, and one of them appears different from the other three. Can you please read out the direction for each different circle? The first one is down. The second one is left. The third one is down. The fourth one is up. The fifth one is up. The sixth one is left. The seventh one is right. The eighth one is left. The ninth one is right. All right, I understand. That will be enough. Please take off the polaroid glasses and wait a minute. 
I will explain everything to both of you together. William, based on the examination we just conducted, your results are within the expected range. If you experience any discomfort or symptoms, please come back for further examination and follow up. Maxwell, based on the examination we just conducted, your results are not within the expected range. This may result in a reduced sense of spatial perception and other symptoms. Posterior abscess means that your ability to perceive depth and three-dimensional structures is limited, for example, walking on the stairs. It can be caused by various factors such as differences in visual acuity between your eyes, misalignment of the eyes, or certain eye conditions. This can affect your perception of depth and may make certain tasks, like judging distance accurately, more challenging. I recommend that you consult an ophthalmologist for a more detailed examination and further monitoring. All right, thank you, optometry. Thanks for watching.